Hello, Mr. Sorbo. Brett. Star Watch Media. Got a Kevin good friend? Sorbo, nice to meet you. Pleasure, sir. Now, you are the star and executive producer of Alongside Night. Yeah, and very. And I, I right? <laughs> now, I'd like to ask you, when Mr. Schulman first approached you about this project, what was your first reaction upon reading the book? Um, what, what, when I read it, I was actually shocked at how much he predicted ex exactly what's going on in our government right now, with the government getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and uh, less freedoms, freedom of speech is going away, um, the, the c government controlling more things, and I look at what our government's done, you can take public education, you can take post office, take IRS, anything the government puts their hand on, they seem to destroy it, which is amazing. This country is built on individuals, never built on government, and I think our forefathers are turning over in their graves right now with what's going on in America. Do you think that this is a story, though, that uh, no matter what side of the political aisle you're on, this is still a story that any uh, any side can identify with? I hope so. I hope. I mean, see, some people when they get so stuck on one particular party that they all they do they, they see more of the anger than they see with any sort of common sense. All you have to do is look at the, look at the facts that are going on in this movie to see and compare it to the facts that are going on in real life and see that they parallel quite well. So I'm hoping people on both sides of the political aisle and all sides of the political aisle take a look at this and with at least an open mind and. Uh, uh, you know, they can compare it to what they're seeing in uh, D.C. today. Now, speaking of D.C., this film already screened for an audience both in Washington, D.C. as well as in Las Vegas, I believe. Did you attend the screenings? I couldn't. I was shooting movies in both of them. It's been, it's been I've been... I've been swamped this year in a good way. I've shot five movies this year. I've only been home, I think, six weeks this entire year in L.A., so I miss my bed. But um, You're getting closer. You know, but, yeah, but, it, but it, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I heard it went well in both those places, so I'm looking forward to see how it's received here tonight. From an audience standpoint, what would you like to see the audience take away from this film and the story as a whole? You know, I, I love doing stuff that creates controversy. I love doing stuff that creates discussion. I hope there's some good debates without being angry. I mean, I... Look, I, I, I consider myself, personally, I'm an independent. I, I vote a Democrat, I vote a Republican, I vote both sides. I vote, I don't vote for a party. I vote for what I honestly believe is the right person. I vote with my heart, my gut, my mind. Uh, I, I vote with, I, I think, some common sense. So I'm hoping that people at least, at least have an open mind when they look at this, like I said earlier, and uh, have a discussion about uh, what's going on when, in politics today. Because people say they're not political, say it doesn't affect them. Politics affects you. It affects all of us, period. You can hide, put your head in the sand. It's still going to affect you one way or another. Now, I also have to tell you, I'm happy I got a chance to speak with you because for the past two years, I've missed you over at Celebrity Fight Night in Scottsdale. So so every, so every time I'm like, hi, I, I, I missed him and Sam again. Movie again. I love Celebrity Fight Night. Hats off to what you guys are doing. I'm sorry I missed. I think it was the 20th anniversary this year. It's amazing how long Jimmy Walker I missed that. And, I, and, and one of my favorite guys was there of all time, Robert De Niro. And I, yes. I know they Joe Torre. I got to meet him. I got to, I golfed with Joe Torre before, and I met De Niro at, at the Cannes Film Festival about two years ago. So at least I got to meet him one time. Now, uh, speaking of charity events, your charity, of course, now correct me if I'm wrong, I believe is still the number one after school program in the state of California. Um, I've been 17 years now as, as chair and spokesperson, where it's called the World Fit for Kids. They can go to worldfitforkids.org, and I work with over 12,000 kids at LA Unified and LA School District. Um, California is the worst public educated state in the country now, which is very sad. This is California. We should be uh, we should be outraged by that. And uh, the 12,000 kids we work with in a city uh, uh, that has a 54% dropout rate, we have a 98% graduation rate and a 67% higher GPA. So LA Unified needs to pay closer attention to what we're doing and do what we do and tell your teachers to do what we do, because we do a better job than what the school system does. And I don't care if it makes them mad, it should, make, it should make them envious and jealous and say we need to make it better, because we do. We teach the lowest common denominator, and that's what our government's doing, because the education system is broken. It doesn't matter who's president. It's gotten worse every year for the last 50 years. What has been the key to, this, to the, not only the success, but the longevity of your charity? I think just the success of it. I mean, what's amazing to me, I go to Washington, D.C. every year to meet with people, to Congress guys, you know, show them the facts, show them the stats of what we have, and it's amazing. All I do is get a pat on the back by both sides of the political aisle. They do nothing to broaden my program and bring it to every, every state should have my program. Every city should have my program. It's a proven success rate. It's been, been proven for 17 years. So it's, it's incredible to me that, it, to me, it's just a purposeful dumbing down of our country. I'll do one last question. Upcoming projects for you. I believe you have a project coming up on the Hallmark Channel in the fall. I do. Well, we sold, we sold a pilot to the Hallmark Channel called Can't Get Arrested. We're going to hopefully shoot this fall. Um, it'll be a two-hour movie. Depends on the uh, ratings. If it gets picked up for a series, like anything. And uh, I'm working on another pilot right now with my old bosses from Hercules. 
dealing in the faith-based world. So it's, uh, I'm not going to get into more details on that, but we're starting to pitch it. We'll be at NBC and we'll be at Lifetime and we'll be at uh, USA and uh, a &E. So we're, we're going on to pitch it in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see what happens. I've got a movie coming out this fall called um, uh, The Secret Handshake, which will be in theaters in October. It's a family comedy written by Howie Klausner. He's the guy who wrote uh, Space Cowboys years ago with Clint Eastwood and Tommy Lee Jones. And um, I've got a uh, number of movies coming. I've shot like 12 movies in the last two years, so it's been busy. Uh, God's Not Dead comes out on DVD August 5th. Two million dollar movies made 62 million in the box office. Thank you guys. Overnight success. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Thank you so much for the time, sir. I hope we see you and Sam at Celebrity Fight Night in Italy in September, you know. <laughs> Last time I was there about a couple months ago, I played I played Alice Cooper's event at Mesa Country. Oh, fantastic. I'll get back down there. I'll get back down Wonderful. there. Congratulations on the film, sir. Enjoy the screening.